I'm Roger Rosenberg. And I am professor of neurology and director of the Alzheimer's Disease Center here at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center at Dallas. I think the most important question before all of medicine and science in the 21st century is how does the brain work? How does the brain solve problems of thinking? The main function of our brain is to store and retrieve information. And uh, there must be a series of very complex mathematical codes, equations, that the brain has to solve for us to think. So we just see the top surface of what goes on. We see, we're able to hear and move, have emotion and think. But underneath that is a uh, very complex series of computations going on. It's analogous to your, your home computer having a software and hardware. Uh, you see the picture on the screen, but there's a lot of problem solving going on behind the picture on the screen. So too in our brain. And then we have the aging process superimposed on the normal function of the brain. And the aging process now becomes a fertile ground, a permissive environment for the opportunistic pathology of Alzheimer's disease to take root. The seriousness of Alzheimer's disease in Texas is, uh, has been estimated to affect now approximately 250,000 citizens. And that number will double in the next 20 years. So it is a serious health problem. Across the country, it is the fourth leading cause of death. But the good news is we now have the dictionary. The human genome has been sequenced. We now know all of the 25,000 genes, where they are. We are now in the process of understanding the function of those genes. What do they code for? We're beginning to identify alteration in genes for aging. And as I said, we are beginning to identify the genes and their variation that cause Alzheimer's disease. So I would be very optimistic that we will find effective therapy for Alzheimer's disease despite the great complexity that the brain poses for us.